number three, but that was me. <laughs> How many times have you been on there surfing to make it on the top five list? Find a bit of treatment for me. <laughs> uh, welcome back to HN 1851. Uh, Michael Fletcher joins us from New World Coaching with a demo of their online networking game. Uh, the premise being that all the people who are on this game are working like worker bees. Exactly. The, the object of this is uh, we want them, we want everybody to give rather than just keep taking, which is a new concept for business, because business is always about getting more. This way we want you to share. You, everybody knows 200 people. So with this game, you ask a question, and they send it out to the hive, and everybody goes, hey, I think I know somebody, and they uh, help you out. They send you a lead. So I've gone to beehiveGameOnline.com, and I get registered, I get signed up, put in my all of these an email address. Exactly. And then I can ask questions. Or I can view the question. questions that other people have asked. They're looking for business leads, and I just literally scroll to where I can help them. Exactly. So uh, let's see. Um, anyone who has a large database in Ontario and would be interested in a joint venture, I can find that person. I select, no, I don't know that person. Or I can't help them. Yes, I can. Or how does maybe work? Well, what happens is, is with yes, your business card's automatically sent. You don't have to do any other work other than just click yes. Okay. If you click no, it disappears from your screen. If you click maybe, it turns green and goes to the bottom of the screen. It gives you time to think about it. See if there's anybody that you know you might know in your database that you want to give the lead for. So you can either put together a question and ask the database, or you can answer a question. Are there requirements as to how many you have to answer in order to be part of the beehive? Do you have to respond to X amount of questions in order for you to be a continued member? Well, what we hope for is that you're going to read the questions as they come in daily, weekly, however you do your right. email, and we want you to give a lead. Uh, there is no requirement, but okay. you know, everybody's asking 52 questions a week. So, or, or uh, correction, one a week which is for 52 weeks. So the object is, is if you want to help people grow their business and plus grow your own, to get involved. Hence the unselfish approach to business uh, exactly. networking. I understand that so you have the option to ask one question a week. Yeah. Um, and no more than that, so that sort of keeps things fair, so you don't have the same person asking exactly. way, way too much. <laughs> and the great thing about it is as soon as you get an answer to your question, you can delete the question. It deletes from everybody's screen. So they know the, the, the question's been solved and it's gone. Yeah. Who, who's traditionally using this? Is it uh, entrepreneurs, salespeople, small business people? All of the above. Anybody, uh, we even have a couple housewives playing, just trying to help their husbands' businesses and stuff. We've got people from Halifax that have joined the game all the way through Ontario. So by helping businesses in all those areas, because you know somebody down in Halifax. I do. So you would be a great person to go, hey, here's a lead for you. I don't know if it'll pan out or not, but at least you can... You know, give them an idea. And especially if you're in sales, this kind of a, a tool can really help out and give you some ideas. And even if you're new to an area, exactly, and it would be beneficial. There is a cost involved, but I understand a lot of that is going to help out some uh, less fortunate and people that need the money. Oh, exactly. We uh, charge $100 to play the game for the year, which isn't a lot of money. And a, a portion of that goes to Canadian Liver Foundation actually out of London here. Excellent. So uh, we, it's one thing we believe in is giving back to the communities. That's why when we play our live Beehive games... So you're following your own little ideas and suggestions with the unselfish approach to networking. Exactly. Michael, good work. So, so when I get in, uh, I need an email address. Everybody's got one. I need a password. I need $100 that I put through PayPal. I also have to create a virtual business card. Exactly. Uh, the great thing about it is you can put your picture on it or your logo on the business card, all your contact information, and you're ready to play. Simple as that. At this point, how many people are looking at it? We have just, we've released it about three weeks ago. Uh, we have just under 60 people already in the hive. And we've already generated 438 leads since August 20th. So it's really taking off. So. Check out beehivegameonline.com. Thank you very much. Let's take a look and see what Ellen's got for us coming up today at 10 a.m. John Ellen, millions would be wished by Harry Potter. You're crazy rich, you're adorable, and you're single. Just be honest, what's wrong with you? Get to know more about Daniel Radcliffe. I can do something truly disgusting with my tongue. Get a sneak peek of TMZ on TV and get closer to Ellen's new DJ. Plus, the winner of So You Think You Can Dance performs. <laughs> you gotta get it together, girl. You gotta dance. I know. All new Ellen. She
contacted me last week and said, hey, you guys, what's your theme? And I said, dance. She said, perfect. I'm going to go with that on Monday. Yeah. Just so you know. Just so Alan is aware, on Tuesday on HL Morning, we're talking with Roger.